actually borrow, to borrow a gentleman's shoe. Now, I think we've developed a certain level of trust here, and uh, I'd like to borrow a shoe, but I'm looking for a big shoe, like a size 11 or 12, like Ed Sullivan said, a really big shoe. Who's got a big shoe? Can, can I use your shoe there, buddy? That's where, oh, it's a nice dress shoe. Toss it up here, toss it up here. I'll catch it, oh wow, just sing it right up, perfect. That's, that's a nice shoe, that's a, uh, oh wow, a Claymore. Ah, uh -huh, very nice. Well, what is your name, sir? Dennis, Dennis. Give Dennis a big round of applause for letting up his Claymore shoe, this is fantastic. Now, they say you can tell a lot about a person by the type of shoe they wear. Uh, you can tell a lot about uh, a person by the, the color, uh, the cut, uh, the wear pattern, uh, the aroma. <laughs> well, I can tell a lot about you, Dennis. <laughs> it's called a shower. <laughs> but it's a shoe, it's an empty shoe. And uh, now, I can also tell that you're a very sort of trusting person. Uh, and, um, and I know that because who would lend a person their shoe? Well, I thought it would be very interesting and very different if, uh, if I taught everybody how to do something a little bit different. Now, I can't really give away the secrets to magic, but I would like to teach you all a practical joke <laughs> that you can do with somebody's shoe. In fact, there's a practical joke hotline that I'm very, very fond of. A friend of mine told me about this. So what I thought I would do is call up the practical joke hotline on the iPhone here, and then we'd all learn how to do this practical joke with Dennis's shoe. Does that sound fun? Yeah. All right. Let's dial it up then. Here we go. Hello and welcome to the Acme Jokes and Gags Hotline. To continue in English, press 1. Para continuar en español, lo tiene número 2. Rizzle, dizzle, or sizzle, my bizzle. Dizzle. Uh, thank you for calling the Practical Jokes Hotline. Please pay attention as our options have changed. If you have multiple personalities, press 4, 5, 6, and 9. <laughs> If you are obsessive compulsive, press seven. Press seven. Press seven. <laughs> Welcome to the fun world of practical jokes. For the banana in a tailpipe gag, press one. For the hand in the warm water gag, press P. <laughs> For the dirty diaper gag, press number two. <laughs> For the drink in the shoe gag, press four. Congratulations, you've chosen the comedy drink in the shoe gag, a guaranteed laugh riot. To begin, you will first need to borrow a shoe from an unsuspecting sucker. I mean, a volunteer. <laughs> Have you done this? Yes. Good. You will also need a small drinking glass. Your volunteer should have no knowledge of this glass, as this is the secret to the gag. <laughs> Take the glass and hide it in your right hand. This is called palming. Be sure to keep your hand in a natural position. <laughs> now, when your volunteer is not looking, you must sneak the glass into the shoe. This is called sneaking the glass into the shoe. <laughs> To facilitate this, cause a slight distraction. Look over there, it's Justin Bieber. <laughs> Practice the secret move over and over until you can do it without detection. Pick up the shoe in your left hand. Your left hand. Pick up a beverage of your choosing. Tell your volunteer that you're going to show him an amazing magic trick. Hey, Dennis, I'm going to show you an amazing magic trick. Now pour the drink into the shoe. Finish pouring and say, ta-da! Ta-da! Now check the expression on your volunteer's face. Does he look angry? A little bit. Then you've done it right. 
this moment of hilarious comedy sink in. <laughs> what your volunteer doesn't realize is that you didn't really pour the drink in the shoe at all. You really poured it into the glass you secretly left in the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to let him off the hook. Make a magical gesture. <laughs> Pull the full glass of liquid from the shoe and toast your volunteer for being such a good sport. <laughs>